Edgar Gonzalez here from TrueSight Server Automation Team. One of the common issues you can face when doing a patch analysis is when a patch is detected as missing, but this patch is already installed on the server. On this type of cases, you will see on patch analysis results the server listed with a missing patch. If you scroll to the right on the results, you will see a column called Reason that will have more details on the reason why it was detected as missing. On this example, we are seeing patch KB4495 axis showing as missing, but if you do a remote desktop to the server, you will see the same patch as already installed under Windows install update. In order to troubleshoot this, you will need to check the logs created from Ivanti on target server under path RSED transactions analysis archive and the job run ID. This will have two of the required files to verify, analysis trace.log and shablicresult.xml. If for some reason these files are not present or you are unable to get it from target server, the alternative is to set the patch analysis in debug mode and rerun the job. In order to set the job on debug, you will need to select the patching job and go to extended properties, where you will find a property called debug underscore mode underscore enable. If this is set to true, it will create the analysis trace.log and shablicresult.xml on the next run. This will be located on application server. This will create the two files under installation path, NSH, TMP, debug, application server, patch analysis job name, the date, and the target server. Analysis trace.log will contain how the Ivanti engine is looking for installed program. In this example, KB44955 exists is a patch for .NET framework. So we will focus on version detected for .NET. On the screen, we can see that it is detecting version 4.7, 3.5, 3.0, 4.0, 4.0, 3 .5, 3 .0 and 2.0. .xml will have the analysis of patches, mentioning if it is installed or missing, and the reason of why it is showing as missing. On the screen, we can see the section of not missing patches and missing patches. As we are focusing on this example, the patch KB44955 exists. We can see the missing reason. File version detected instead of expected. The reason of the missing patch could vary from patch to patch. One of reason could be that the registry key does not exist, or that a DLL file is missing or incorrect version. On this example, we cannot see the name of the DLL that has the incorrect version, so we will need to run an event tool called TPD Trace to create more information and more details. This tool can be downloaded from Ivanti URL shown on the screen and can be executed using command prompt or GUI. On this example, we are going to execute using GUI. To run using GUI, you will need to launch dpd trace gui.exe from downloaded zip file. This tool can be executed remotely or locally on the server. In this example, we are executing locally on target server. So we will be selecting local and we will need to fill the admin user name, the password. The OM version you need to select will be different depending on the TrueSight Server Automation version. For version 8903 or above, you should select engine 9.3.2644. For version 8902 or below, you should select engine 9.2.2063. The patch type selected should match the one on patch analysis job from TrueSight Server Automation. In this case, we are selecting security patches only, as we did it 
on the patch analysis. Once you have this info, click on run. It will take a couple of minutes to execute. After it completes, it will create a zip file under send to support with the name hfcli underscore date dot zip. This zip file will contain two files under the OM version selected that will help you to troubleshoot this issue. hfcli.log will be similar to analysis trace.log. It will show products installed or found on the server. The other XML file will have the details of why a patch is missing, similar to shablik result.xml. In this case, it is telling us that clrgit.dll file has version 473133, when it should have version 473416. It also shows the location of this DLL. If we go to the file mentioned, we can see the exact version. Under details tab, and we can see the file version it has, 473133. In order to see why it is searching for this file version, we can check the Microsoft URL for this patch. The URL should be something similar to support.microsoft.com slash help slash the KB number and a title. On the file information section, we can see the x64 base version. You can first see this DLL and in this example the clrgit.dll is showing version 4.7.34160 which is bigger as the one we have on the target server. So as conclusion you can see that this installation of the patch is not correct as it doesn't have the correct file version even when it was installed successfully. As this is not a problem with Ivanti or TrueSight Server Automation Detection, in order to fix this issue, you will need to check with your Windows Admin and verify why this patch was installed but DLL has incorrect version. This may be a problem of a bad installation or the file was modified for some other reason. Your Windows Admin team may decide to uninstall patch and install again in order to fix this DLL. Thanks for watching this video.